They'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about my post-ignorance walk on September 28th, starting at Washington Square. It's simply a walk, and I hope that it grows all over the country. And we can all do this. I picked September for a reason. It's a spectacular, beautiful, magnificent weather in North America. I want to talk about Fukushima, give people kind of an update on what has changed over the summer of 2013. Nothing, really. That's the sad thing is, my post ignorance says your logo here for a reason. There's a reason I'm doing it at Washington Square, down Alexander. Look, this Fukushima is the capitulation to everything that has happened wrong in this country for 34 years. It's no coincidence that regressive wages, nominal wages have regressed for 34 consecutive years as the great progressive movement ended in 1980. As I know, as my book, I said it ended the day that John Lennon was killed. By the way, that beautiful girl that I'm going to see, my daughter was conceived that night. It was such a powerful time in this country. Such a shift dynamically as the great, they call it conservative movement. And I love Lonnie Clark when she goes out and says, quit calling it conservative, quit using that word conservative, it's not conservative. And I told her, yeah, it's regressive. It is regressive, the great regressive movement. So that's what I'm going to start calling it. As we used to call, you know, Plumgate. I love Plumgate, that word. Uh, 311, but I call it, and I'm going to call it from here on out, the Pacific Genocide. My march, hierarchy, the Pacific Genocide. We need Occupy. Occupy had it all, but it didn't have any detail. We need the peace lover, Cindy Sheehan. We need the people that want Dick Cheney and Colin Powell and Rumsfeld and all of them charged for war crimes. We want those. We want the Brad, I am Bradley Manning people. We want the Megan Rice. We need the church. We need the true Christians to rise up. We need the true Muslims to rise up. We need the true Jews to rise up. We need the true atheists, earth lovers, pagans to rise up. The true people who believe in morality, who believe in dignity, who believe in honor, who believe in the truth. And we're going to march down to Alexander Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton's graves. Ackerman's going to show up, and, you know, I'm going to talk about the original, the original studios of de Kooning and Pollock and the last great art movement in this world, the abstract impressionists, were right there. The, you know, everything that ever happened, the gay march, you know, right there. I mean, they changed the world, whether you agree or disagree or whatever. I'm talking about the things that really work. Look, we have to come together in an intelligent way. This has to be fought on the intellectual mobs that are doers. I mean, the people, every single person who ever gets up in the morning and goes to work, every person who has a job, every person that raises their kids, this is as bad, except for the marine biologists. We don't want those scum, because marine biologists are the thumbprint. I mean, they are the SS. We're going to turn on the marine biologists in this movement like you've never seen turned on them intellectually. We don't need violence. We're going to fight with love and the poetry of anger because we have the truth on our side. We have not. We want all nuclear over. Not just every plant shut down. The one in Georgia not fired. I mean, think about this. How obscene. We're building one in Georgia right now. What part of Fukushima do you not fucking get? I mean, you tried to cover it up. You can't, you know, I told this in detail as nothing has changed. Look, this movement has to start here now, like all post-ignorance. It's about the Pacific, the genocide of the Pacific. Yeah, can nothing be done over there? Bullshit. It could be, I mean, what's happened has happened. You know, think about this, the sea lions. As it was widely reported, the sea lions are dying. Full of radiation, widely reported. You don't care. The dolphins are being killed. The whales are being killed. These two-legged beer-drinking mammals all over North America are being killed. I, I need this to be known, too. I'm autistic. Look, and if I get one more person coming to me about the vaccinations, the, I debunked all of that. The fact of the matter is, nuclear fallout is autism. And I can prove it. I can prove it. The autism capital of the world right here where I live. One in 32 boys. Major epidemic. The same reason we're the cancer capital of the world is because we're right next to 300 open-air tests in Nevada. But that's all going to change now because all of North America is downwinders. It's safer to live in Tokyo than San Francisco, Seattle, Los Angeles, Salt Lake City, New York City, Chicago, Atlanta, Georgia, Dallas, Texas. It is much safer. Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, Canada. It is much safer to live there than 
in Tokyo than it is in all of those. It is about where the wind blows. It's where the water flows, and it's down winters. This is plutonium. Don't let these guys fool you to just talk. Tritonium is evil. It's an evil hardcore killer as it tricks you the body and attacks the muscle. Cesium, mass, hardcore curve, but plutonium is the heavy metal that lies along the bone marrow. And it's like my daughter says, it's like a ladder that kicks out from underneath and it's on, it's on. The survival rate in AML leukemia is extremely low. And we know it's accumulative. Look, nuclear fallout's only been around for 70 years. If that, you know. As I say it over and over, Barack Obama's mother was a downwinder. As we see the DOE, the cartel, the energy cartel, the evil. Here's the facts. The facts are we we produce so much more energy in this country than we need. Look, I love how the frackers and all these people, oh, we, our oil, it's going to be our freaking, you know, our economy boost. No, no, no. The deep shore wells in the offshore were put there to get rid of freaking rigs here because they don't have to build pipelines. They can pull the tanker around. This is nothing but the extraction of natural resources out of North America. Just like, oh, we're going to get Iraq. So what, are you on the board of Shell Oil? Are you BP? This is freaking foreign companies. Look, American companies are not American companies. They're multinationals. They're oligarchs. GM, there's nothing about Caterpillar. You know, all these oil companies. They're Chevron. They're not American. Nothing about them American. They employ very few people in this country. Very few. They pay no taxes in this country. Their markets are abroad. They don't give a damn about us as They've always never gave a damn about us. But when the shirtwaist girls jumped to their deaths, right there, Washington Square, Building D, NYU, that's what happened. It changed the world. The cops were cracking their face in this repressive state. Look, the police need to understand. They need to switch ranks. The police forces of America, look, we're on your side. We're, we are you. You are we. You're working class. You're working, you know, you, you're freaking ground pounders. You know, you put shoes on, you're workers. This is a, we're all workers. This is about, we're not about people that freaking gain wealth without work. We need re true religious leaders like Megan Rice. Not you fake Christians in hairspray who preach from the pulpit who are devils. You are going to rot in the lowest form of hell. And all you people who put Megan Rice in there and have done this, and the marine biologists, I will say this, may God have mercy on your souls. We're going to do this through the poetry of anger. And everybody that has participated in the, as I call it, black and yellow journalism, not the intentional downplaying, the intentional downplaying. Sanjay Gupta, let's go fishing at Lake Chernobyl. I'll go on and on. And I have a list. And people have backed it up. My list is out there. People know. You people, they're all, how many 6,000 bananas? Wow, you think that really works? As Dave Parrish, who's done beautiful work, who's been there for me, Dave one down there in, so, down there in the hot southwest. That's all you got? Somebody says, that's all you got to the nuclear industry? As they says, oh, Kevin, the nuclear industry hates you so bad, they mailed you nuclear, they mailed you leukemia in the mail. I used to laugh. They didn't have to mail it to me. They don't have to mail it to you. They give it to you before you were born. And now they're piling on. We don't need nuclear. The nuclear era needs to end. We need to get rid of all nuclear. We need tariffs back in place. Even if we put tariffs, China's still going to freaking bring stuff in here. Huge economic bolster to our economy. Money. You know, if you're going to take all our jobs, what are we going to do? We need money. This is for all working class. These are the lovers of the environment. Moms, you know, religious leaders, true ones. Not you we don't want you fake phony Christians who freaking slaughtered Iraqis, you know, and says, kill, 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 kill. I'm a Christian. You're not a Christian. You're going to rot in the lowest form of hell. As everything is flipped upside down. Everything is upside down. We're going to try to set it right. We want user realize back in place. We want things that work for the 99%. We need our jobs back. We need our dignity back. We need our honor back. We need truth. We want, and we want people to pay. We want people to pay. We want wall of Kyle crime to be illegal again. We want to enforce antitrust laws. I have my hierarchy and I have my list. And anybody that wants to interview me, any media outlet, whatever. You know, you can watch my interview with Dr. Dresser. I'm very good in interviews. September 28th, Washington Square. I hope this happens all over the country. It's simply a walk in that beautiful sunshine. I know it's football season, and I love college football too, but maybe before the game, after the games, you know. I want, I want athletes, I want everybody. We're, we're together on this. We're together. We're the 99% in a reality. This is not, this is post-ignorance. I can read it over and over, I've read it over and over in the more exposed manner. We have our list of wants, but we have them in detail. Number one. Entomb Fukushima and get rid of all nuclear. Not just the plants. Get rid of this godforsaken waste that has given us cancer. Stay on tuned.